North Star is like the direction you're like headed because you know like all travelers used to use like the North Star to find out where they're going. So I remember uh, we got this little North Star thingy from Miss Kelly, our teacher, our favorite teacher. And she told us like it's always been pointing us in the right direction and I guess we're headed in the right track. So that's what North Star I guess means to me. Well to me, <clears throat> North Star is a way for me to uh, always keep my head on the swivel. And stay focused because you know the North Star symbolizes you know guidance you know in terms of like direction you know in the olden days you know people looked at the Northern Star you know for freedom in a way to lead them there. So that's what it you know means to me you know something that always reminds me to stay focused and to keep chasing what I you know what I desire you know that's how I will present it to me when I receive you know the gift of the necklace so that's how I it. I mean in a sense it means everything to me now. Um, I honestly did not know about it before graduation day. Uh, we got these in the necklaces from Miss Kelly, our favorite teacher. Uh, and uh, I mean, I looked, I looked up like the background, and, like it has a little, little paragraph in it, and it's kind of like it guides me to where I want to be and where I'm gonna be someday. So that's really what it means to me. North Star is the pathway, it's the light, it's the right way to go. You know, people use it before in the past, and like. As Sebastian said before, like our favorite teacher gave it to us, so it means a lot to us. That's why we're basing this off of what she gave us. It wouldn't mean nothing without her, Miss Kelly. Uh, the North Star is, it for me, it represents finding your way, and um, just I know me personally. Sometimes I can feel like my head is in the clouds, and like my mind is like everywhere except for the place that it needs to be. So. Um, North Star is just kind of like me finding that one true path and like where I was meant to go and you know, the way to my best self, basically. Um, North Star means that we wear a necklace and it makes us feel good and has motivation. North Star to me is like the biggest star that I know of besides the sun. So it's like the biggest goal that you go towards out of the million goals you have, but the North Star is like the, more, the most important one. North Star is a long journey that we will all go through, and I feel like the North Star is the destination that we'll reach. And the North Star is all the dreams that we want to accomplish. So what the North Star means to me is pretty much like, well, the first thing I think of is the Bible, because they had like the stars, you know, they followed it. And what I think of it is like, Pretty much the North Star is something that we follow, it's something that we look to in order to get somewhere in our future. Uh, I'm a photographer and a conceptual, it's almost sound kind of cool, so I'm gonna say that. Um, so basically, I do the pictures and I help sort of keep things intact, so to speak. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm an entrepreneur. And I'm a model, so in terms of you know creating art, you know visual art, you know that's my contribution. And you know, like I said, it's a wide range because I'm an entrepreneur, so it could be anything with fashion, it could be anything with you know video, all ideas, a skit. So it ranges from different areas. Uh, as far as contributions, I'd say that uh, I'm a photographer, uh, more like a visionary. Uh, I kind of like. I kind of like push everyone to be the best that they can be or like who I know they can be and they're like not actually like working towards right now. Uh, I feel like we're all great in a way in a sense and we all are going to be great. We just have to put in the work and like grind hard for what we want. You should, I'm a model and honestly I think I've like Oliver holds us together the most but like I feel like I have to keep y'all heads on straight or you guys would lose y'all weight. And organization, we have none. So like, I, feel, I feel like I have to like help the organization a lot. And being one of the few grad boys with a car, they rely on me a lot to go to where they need to go. My contribution, I am a model for the rad boys, and well, I do take part in the business venture. Not as much as Sebastian and Oliver do, but <clears throat> I try my best. My contribution to the Rad Boys is that I make the videos, I edit the videos. I'm one of the photographers and I do graphic designs for like the Rad Bag and stuff. I'm an inspiring model. Uh... I am a streetwear model. I 
have a great, well, I mean, this isn't really a contribution, but I have like a great friendship with all of them. I, it's a lot of fun. Like I really like doing what I do. I love modeling, I love art. And that's like the main thing that I look forward to is something that contributes to art because that's something that's always been in my life. Um, I think it's the name. I like that a lot. And um, I think it's the fact that most of us are kind of like, we all kind of have the same mindset and ideals. So when it comes to coming together and thinking of an idea to come up with or a photo shoot or a video, we all kind of have the same ideal mindset and it puts us on track. It's kind of a cool working machine. My favorite part of it is like, that I can be myself with the, you know, with the other people I'm with. I don't feel the need to like filter or act a certain way, you know. You know how we are with people, you know, with, you know, adults, you act a certain way, you know, you with certain other people, you act a certain way. When I'm with, you know, rad boys, I am me completely. I think it's like the family sense. Like, because I remember like a few weeks ago, I probably would like not be alive if it wasn't for the rad boys, you know. Like, I was, I was like, fuck it, you feel me? Like, there was nothing to live for. But like, they, they really showed me what it, what it was like to have family, because like, at the end of the day, you can be related to someone and not really be like close to them. And like they, they showed me that no matter what, I'm always gonna have them. And I think that's like my favorite part to being a rapper, like them always gonna be there for me. Honestly, the connection I share with all of you guys, with all the rap boys, the connection I share is just perfect. I, I can I can count on them when I need them and they know that I'm there for them if they need me. Uh, being able to start this business with people that like you really mess with and like you know starting a business with people that you you've grown into an adult with and like you've spent years knowing it's it, it's a great experience and you know like you get to have fun like the whole way with it even when we're doing business so that's probably my favorite part um my favorite part about being a rad boy is when they buy food or give me gas money <laughs> My favorite part of being the rap boy is knowing some group outside of school that you can like hang out with like a, another family. My favorite part of being a rap boy is knowing that everyone in the rap boys have similar goals and that we all gonna achieve it together. What I like about being here, these kids are like the funniest people you will ever meet. Like no lie. There'll be times where I'll be upset about something that happens and all I need to do is read through the group chat and they, they always make me laugh, like no matter what it is. I just love being around them, whether we're doing nothing or whether we're hanging out, like everything that we do is something hilarious. The end goal, I think for the Rad Boys is to become one of the leading brands in creative ideals and clothing and visual arts. We want to expand ourselves to, to different ranges where we could just um, help and show ourselves in different unique ways to the world. Well, my end goal is to be financially stable, doing exactly what I want to do, which is, you know, still being a model, still creating art, you know, in terms of fashion, in terms of industry, of acting, you know what I'm saying? That's how I want to be. I want to be saying all a million bucks chilling, kicking back for my, you know, with my uh, spouse at the time. And you know, that's, that's my goal in my right now. You were, my end goal is uh, a lot like Jacob's. I just want to be financially stable, like beyond financially stable. I want to be, I want to be financially stable where I can help my friends become financially stable. And I want to have like my, my mom, especially my mom and my dad, so they can be debt free. Cause like, like just just a few weeks ago, paying for college was like a thousand dollars, like for just three classes. Like, and I know they, they didn't pay for that; they put it on a credit card. So someday, I just want to like, be like, okay, you know, you guys worked so hard for me. Here's what I'm gonna do for you guys. You guys don't even have to like ask. I'm just gonna do it just to do it. My end goal, me personally, I want to go. I want you to go into a store like Hollister or American Eagle, wherever it is. It does not matter. I want to be that model you see that like, hey, yo, that's Xavier, bro. I went to high school with him. Oh my God, he's doing big things. I want them to look up to me. My end goal is to gain more exposure as a model and as a writer. 
I think that's the goal for all of us is to just get to a point where we can all do our own things and you know pursue each of our own like crafts and um, be able to support each other in that way too. So. My end goal is to be a film director and inspire a bunch of other aspiring filmmakers that are my age, but in the future, if that makes any sense. My end goal for the Rap Boys is to have my designs in like different magazines and like have it on billboards and to have money. My end goal is for the Rap Boys to have bigger attention on the bigger scale and I want myself to work with companies. Um, my end goal is to become a model. I'm not really looking at like, um, what is it called? Like catwalk modeling, like not all of, all of that. I'm talking more like streetwear modeling, like putting clothes out there, doing art, like things like that. I'm not talking about painting, but I mean like, for example, paint on my face and do some kind of expressional modeling thing. You know, everything that I want to do in the future involves like getting somewhere into my future and getting somewhere successful as well. Like that's, that's the end goal. Like I just want to be happy. I work hard pretty much for those guys, you know, my parents have been doing really hard to keep me on the right track and keep me stable and help me like live sufficiently and stuff like that. So I feel like I owe it to them to keep working, pushing, you know, they don't entirely believe in sort of like the whole idea of the rap boys, but once I show them that I can do it, then it'll be the biggest thing ever and I'll make a proud. I work hard for myself mainly because I, I feel like <clears throat> I should be my first priority. So I, one and you know one and done. It's me, I work hard for myself because I want to reach a certain area in life. And the second I see my mom because I love her dearly and she knows what I'm doing right now. So I only want to you know, show her that what I'm working for is gonna lead to something meaningful. Uh, my little sister Kayla. Um, I don't tell a lot of people this, but she has Down syndrome, and I don't really bring her out, like, because I know how cruel this world is, so, like, I just kind of, like, keep her intact, because I know someday my parents are going to get old, and they're not going to really, like, watch her and stuff, so as much as I can, I'm going to work for her, like, do whatever I can to just help her, make sure that she's financially stable, and, like, she's set, and, I, like, no matter what, she's always going to have me around. I mean, it's not just her, too, it's, you know, it's just, like, my mom and my dad, and, like, I know my grandparents are gonna be gone soon, so I mean I hope I can just make them proud like, wherever they are, you know, anything like that. But yeah, and then also for myself, because uh, I'm still like battling like all these self issues, self conflicts, and hopefully one day I'll be able to be happy and like enjoy, you know, life. Uh, I work hard for my mom and my dad and my sister, basically my family, because my dad he has arthritis. And my mom, she's just, my mom is everything to me. Oh my God, my mom knows everything about my life. She knows what I'm doing right now. Like, she knows every female I've ever been with. Like, she knows all the crappy things I've done. Like, she's there for me when I need her. She's like one of my best friends. I love my mother to death. And my sister, just, she might get on my nerves, but like, I have no choice but to love her. And I love her for like, getting on my nerves. She's that little, poke me and just get on each and one of my nerves. But, I do it to her too, so I can't blame her, and I love them all, and I have to do what I can to help them succeed. I work hard for myself mostly. I mean, I feel like if I'm not doing anything, like if, like if I just sit there and like, you know, like idly, like the whole day, it's just, it's not, like if it's not a productive day, then it just feels long, it feels like you just wasted a day, and um, you know, the things that I work on are like they're therapeutic to me because you know, things that I deal with, it's like that helps with that. I work hard for myself. I want to be the best film director I can be. That's my passion. I work hard for myself mostly because, in the end, I feel like oh, I'm gonna have myself, but I also work hard for my mom because. She kind of funds a lot of my student stuff that I do for photography and stuff. I work hard for myself and my family because, well, myself because 
I usually do stuff alone. I really don't need help from people. This and from my family, they always like gave me everything I always wanted. You know, they were always there when I needed them. So I want to pay them back. So I'll I work hard for it myself. That's like the number one. Because if if I'm not working hard for myself, then how else am I gonna be happy? Like I can't depend on anybody else, and I I had to learn that like the hard way. But you cannot depend on anybody else to make you happy, except for yourself. Like there's nobody or anything that's gonna fill the void. You're the only one that can realize that you need to do what you need to do in order to be happy. Like I mean, really, I I do work hard for myself, for my happiness, for what I'm doing. If I'm not comfortable, I won't do it. Everything that I do revolves around my own happiness. And um, if we're gonna talk about other people, well, my mom is like my best friend. She's like my other half. She's someone that has always been there for me. And she, we always joke, like she's really someone that I, I love so much, so. Um, I don't really have a specific rad boy. I feel like with every rad boy, I have a different type of connection and way I feel about each one of them. Like I know with Oliver, we connect on a different level than say me and Michael or with Jacob. I mean Jacob, I'll be ignorant with Jacob, but sometimes Jacob's stupid. And that's just that's just how we act. That's how me and Jacob act. We connect like that. Or I crack stupid white jokes with Nick. No. <laughs> <laughs> say bad jokes. <laughs> and then sometimes me and Xavier, we connect on sports all the time. Me and Julie connect, or me and Stephanie connect, that's just how it is. And Justin too, me and Justin connect on music all the time, that's just how it is. And DeAndre, you know, we connect when it comes to like graphics. So, so we all connect on a different level, that's just how I feel. I don't have a specific. I see my favorite rap boy, Justin. Because, you know, he's dropping bangers. Y'all need to listen to Young Yeti, he's dropping bangers. He's only getting bigger, so that's my favorite guy right here, you feel me? Shout out to him. Alright, uh, my favorite rap boy would have to be. Shit. I don't think I have a favorite rap boy. In a sense, it's really like what Sebastian said. It's like, it's, there's, there's different moments where we all connect with uh, like an individual rap boy more than I want another to feel me. Like, like, for example, last night, I was talking to Jacob about like some shit that me and Jacob were talking talk about. I wouldn't talk to anybody else about what we were talking about, feel me? And like Sebastian, like, I wouldn't be anything without Sebastian, you feel me? Like, he just, he just drives me to be like the best that I can because like the thing with Sebastian is like he'll drop like a picture and I'm like yo that shit fucking snap like dog I'm like all right fuck now I gotta be better than Sebastian like fuck that like this nigga not gonna surpass me because you know, I'm gonna surpass them and then there's like Xavier I'll be at home I'm like yo like slide in like slide in it's just like fuck we play ball or some shit like go eat Chick Fil A and like you got Juliana. Her and her, her sign, like, on oh, your birthday? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> this is, there's like all these different vibes. And Nick, when I was like going through it, bro, like, Nick was there to, more than anyone, really. Like, I'd be like, yo, Nick, can you come get me so and so? And he'd be like, all right, but in like five minutes, I, like, he'll be there. Like, it's just, you know. And then DeAndre, I'll tell DeAndre, I'm like, yo, you busy? He'll be like, nah, like, yo, I need you to do something right now. I'm like, all right. Usually we tell them to do something that, like, you don't really do it as soon as you tell them to do it, but, like, he really does it right there and then, like, he gets the job done. He did. Uh, Stefan. Stefan doesn't talk much, but, <laughs> you know, me and him are cool. Uh, still got love for him. Always gonna push him to be the best model he can be. And there's Justin. Uh, I love that kid. Uh, I haven't seen him in, like, a year. It's just crazy. But, um, at the end of the day, I honestly did this whole thing for him, but like we kind of like just did parts, but like, soon we're gonna get back together. So, so, yeah. Oh damn, I almost forgot Michael, bro. Like I almost forgot Michael. <laughs> I fucking love Michael. Dog. Like as far as like my stability, my, my mental health, me and Michael connect like so heavy on that. Cause like, like when I'm going through it, he's going through it. I know when, when Michael's not himself, and he knows I'm not myself, and like we'll kind of like step to the side and talk about it. And stuff. To answer that question, I don't really have a favorite. We kind of just all connect to different levels. Uh, favorite rad boy. I mean, I love them all. Let's get that straight out of the way. I love them all, but I've connected with one of them more than the others. I'm not gonna act like I haven't. So like, to be fair, <laughs> it's been Sebastian. I've known Sebastian for way too long, longer than the rest of them, but like, I love them all. But I've had a deeper connection with Sebastian than I have the rest of them. 
I'd say that my favorite rap boy is Jacob because me and him go the like we go way back like car seats and uh, it's just I feel like me and Jacob click as people because like it's kind of like a opposites attract sort of thing where it's like Jacob is not serious at all and like he's like just like that funny like oh like you know person and I'm just more kind of like oh you know what I mean like I'm just more of a, uh, a, a, a more chill person and uh, also like Jacob in his uh, in his personal life is like like he doesn't give up on like anything and like he perseveres to like everything that's like thrown at him and like person to me that's like inspiring as fuck because like you know, most people when they when they're faced with hardship, it's just kind of like, oh, well, you know, I should probably just give up. I should do this or that. But with him, it's like, nah, like keep going. And that inspires like me to keep going. My favorite rad boy is Michael because he's the only one that basically sees the films that I love, and it gets it gets me happy. My favorite rad boy would have to be Sebi because he's just the funniest one. And he says the, the stupidest stuff, and Jacob. But then Oliver, he kind of like keeps us in control. So without him, you know, we kind of be nothing. I don't have a favorite rap boy, but if I had to choose, it would be Julie because I connect with her the most because we're both the youngest in the rap boy stuff. So. <sighs> the true rap boy. Okay, so. Pretty much everyone's been salty over this question because the answers have all been different. But like Xavier said, like Sebastian said, I love everybody here. Everyone here is great. They all bring a different kind of taste to each thing that we do. And if they're not in there with us in person, they're there over text, like right on the spot. But if anyone is my favorite rap boy, it's going to be Justin. And that's because he has been there for me through everything. Like no matter what it has been, whatever it is. He's the one who helped me get through something very hard in my life. Like, he's someone that's always been there for me. He's always down to hang out. He, like, everything that we have is, like, a beautiful connection. I just really, I love him. Like, he's great. Uh, it was probably that one time, uh, was, like, in the beginning of the year, where I was walking and I was supposed to fake fight someone, and I swung back and I hit some old lady. Yeah, I remember that. She got hit right in the face. I had my memory. I a lot of memories. I'd say maybe my favorite. My favorite in which, in terms of any time I think of it, no matter what mood I am, it always shakes me up. It's not really a mad, rad boy memory, but it was the time when I think sophomore, maybe junior, I think it was sophomore year. We were running, it was wet outside, we were running. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why, I think we had to rush to get somewhere, but we were running. And uh, Misfit, bruh, aka Oliver Etienne, you know, decided to hit a sharp turn, you know, on this wet path and just completely RKO himself onto the path. <laughs> and it was just a moment I'd never forget because how quick his body dropped was nothing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so, well, that's my favorite. Oh, alright, so this shit was horrible because, like, my dad had came home one day. It was the day we went to uh, we went to get our the first time we went to get our hats done, and all day I was like, yo, I thought we were gonna get cheese. Like we were in the living room, I was like, yo, we're gonna get cheese today. Like, oh fuck, uh, I was so nervous. I was like, fuck, man, some shit's gonna happen. And like we get to the crib, and we're like bumping like Rob Banks, and we're like, uh, we're moshing like this four niggas, and like we're just moshing, and then like we hear the door, bro, and like, they was just like, oh shit, and this nigga Sebastian like. I don't know what he did, but this man like Spider Man up the stairs. He was gone. Like, <laughs> I was downstairs getting in trouble and shit. And like, them niggas was just like, they're like fucking around. And like, my grandma helped them escape. Like, that <laughs> shit was like, yeah. Like, I feel like I was like the strongest bonding moment because we felt like we was gonna die that day. So, yeah, that's my favorite rapper moment. When I first, like, okay, so basically, I'm, I'm gonna lay out the picture for you. We were in Sebastian's house. Sebastian was current, like, he was moving at the time. And I wasn't even a rad boy at the time. This is the moment I became a rad boy. And you're like, I've always been around them, so it's like, I'm, I was one, but not technically one. It was like confusing. But like, I was basically always there for them. They're my niggas, I'm always gonna be there for them. But I'm helping Sebastian move, and then it's, it's just Sebastian, 
Oliver, me, and Michael. So we're just helping him move. Jacob's nowhere to be found, like always. So we're just helping him move, and then this we just jamming the music. It was Drake more like, you know, it was like, oh, what track is this? Oh, for real, 17 bet. And we was just betting on everything. And then all of a sudden, like, they just brought it up, you wanna get a rat boy. And like, we were just thinking about it, I was like, shit, nah. Like, of course I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, I love you guys, I wanna do this. But it's like, it's an executive decision. And I became a rap boy, and that was just happiest moment for me because at the time I was in like a dark, dark place with like my past, and these things just helped me like find my way. It was just perfect. There was a there was modern fest that one time when we were all getting like cheeks and like we were all looking at each other and I was, I was getting cheeks and Sebastian was getting cheeks and just everybody was like, hey, like hey, I see you, and then hey, I see you too. That was like, that was like great energy right there. So. Uh, I mean, there's like a million memories that can like just pinpoint. We don't take too long. Favorite Rad Boy memory is when they bought gas and food. Well, I was I wasn't with them specifically, but it was like the last day of senior year when they were leaving, and they did like a mosh pit. I wasn't in the mosh pit, but it looked cool from a distance. So I don't know. That was like. My favorite Mad Boy memory was when Oliver sent me a text message saying to go to Kelly's room and you know I was like I was standing over the wood. So I just go to Miss Kelly's room and me and Julia are there waiting for her then. And he gives me the news that I'm a new Mad Boy. Well, my favorite Rad Boy memory would have to be well it's not really a specific memory, but it's <laughs> but it's like just hanging out with them like if anything, it's probably when I have one-on-one -on -one conversations with one each second. person. Like sometimes I'll have a really deep conversation with Sebastian. Like the other day I had a really deep conversation with Xavier and every time I talk to these guys, I always learn something. Like no matter what it is, even when I talk to Michael, I learn something about how he's feeling and what I should do for myself. Like talking to these people isn't just trying to help them. It's also something that ends up helping me as well. And I really, that's like my favorite thing to do with them.